Hello and welcome to My Secret Math Tutor. For this video, we're going to find the zeros of a radical function. So when you hear that word zeros of a function, remember we really just want to know where does this function equal zero? And the good news is, uh, you know, since we're dealing with uh, radicals, that means all we have to do is take the uh, rule part of this, the equation part, set it equal to zero and solve it. That's really all we do. Uh, let's look at two examples and just see this process in action. So in this first one, I want to solve the uh, square root of 3x minus 1 minus 4, and I want to find its zeros. So the way I want to think of this is, you know, when does all of this equal 0? All right. Now to solve radicals in general, I want to isolate the root, square both sides, and get x all by itself. So let's start off by isolating this root by adding 4 to both sides. That looks pretty good. My root is isolated, so let's square both sides. And then I'll get rid of it. So 4 squared will give me a 16 equals. Uh, square square root, I have 3x minus 1. All right, a little bit closer. Uh, let's add 1 to both sides. So that's 17. And last, divide by 3. Now when we're working with these radicals, we must check the solution in the original just to make sure that it does work out. So let's find out. If I put in this number, do I really get zero? Maybe, maybe not. So 17 thirds right there. Okay. So let's see, working on the inside, I can see that a three and a three will cancel out. That'll leave uh, with just a 17 underneath there. 17 minus 1 will give me a 16. And the square root of 16 is 4. So I have 4 minus 4, which does equal 0. So this checks out. So what do I know? I know that at x equals 17 thirds, there is a 0 of the function. Let's do one more of these, okay? In this one, I want to find the zeros of the cubed root of 2x squared minus 8x plus 2. So let's see, since we're finding the zeros, uh, let's go ahead and set all of this equal to zero and solve. So 2x squared minus 8x, so all that's underneath the cubed root, plus 2. All right, so to begin, we must isolate this cubed root. So this two must be moved to the other side. Let's subtract the two. Two x squared minus eight x. Okay, that looks good. Uh, now that the root is isolated, let's raise both sides to the power of three. All right, so a negative two and I'm cubing it. So this will give me a negative eight cube a cubed root now it's gone okay this thing is looking more like a quadratic so if I want to continue solving it uh, let's get it equal to 0 over here by moving the 8 so 0 equals 2x squared minus 8x plus 8 okay not bad not bad uh, I think everything in here is divisible by 2 so let's make the numbers a little bit smaller Awesome. And now I think we can see how this factors really nicely. So x minus 2 and an x minus 2. Okay, so it looks like my solution out of this is x is equal to 2. In fact, I get it twice, one from each of these factors, but I'm only going to list it out once. Now, just to make sure, let's go ahead and plug it into the original and see if everything checks out. So when I plug it in, do we really get a 0? So we'll take the cubed root of... 2 times 2 squared minus 8 times 2 plus 2. All right, let's plug in that 2. And let's go ahead and simplify this thing down. So let's see what we got here. Uh, 2 squared would be 4, and 4 times 2, that would be an 8. Okay, that looks pretty good. 
Uh, 8 times 2 would be a 16, so I have minus 16. All right, 8 minus 16 is a negative 8. And I can take the cubed root of a negative 8. That is simply a negative 2. So negative 2 and plus 2, that'll be 0, which matches what I have on the other side of the equal sign. So I can say, yes, this guy checks out. So I know that x equals 2 is a 0 of my radical function. So you can see that if you really use the same solving process as uh, you have with radical equations, you'll be just fine. If you'd like to see some more videos, please visit MySecretMathTutor.com.